I actually work on theoretical particle physics. I'm interested in the origins of the masses of all the elementary particles that make up everything in the universe, like electrons and then the quarks inside of the protons and uh, all the different particles. I'm interested in why we have mass at all, why we're not just floating around with no mass. And it turns out that at the very earliest instance of the universe, there was the Big Bang, a big flash of energy, and space and time erupted. And then that energy coalesced or froze into individual particles like electrons and quarks and uh, quanta of light, which we call photons. And initially, none of those had any mass, by which I mean their energy couldn't be packaged in a form that we would recognize mass. You, if you tried to pick them up, there wouldn't have been any, any sense of heft to them. And so they were all zooming around at the speed of light, like massless particles do. And then the universe very quickly went through a kind of a phase transition, like when water freezes into ice and there's a difference in the arrangement of things. So what happened is suddenly energy could be packaged in the form that we recognize as mass or inertia. And what I want to know is what caused that change? This is very exciting right now because there's a big experiment or a pair of experiments going on at the Large Hadron Collider, which is just outside Geneva, Switzerland. In, indeed, it's underneath part of the French-Swiss border. They've been taking a lot of data. They just released a, um, an important announcement yesterday showing the latest data and how it rules out some of the simplest explanations of where mass might, might come from over a certain parameter range, but has tantalizing hints that we'll learn more about in spring when there's even more data that's been taken and analyzed. This fall, I was very um, pleased and surprised to find that I'd been named uh, a fellow of the American Association for the Advancement of Science. I hadn't known I was nominated, so it was, it was a great surprise. It's really wonderful to get recognized by the scientific community as somebody who's contributing to the generation of new knowledge, but also to helping that knowledge impact people's lives as a teacher and as uh, someone who also does outreach to um, K-12 through uh, students and teachers. It's a chance to see the joy of discovery on someone else's face when they make a new connection or understand something that I love and they suddenly realize they love it too. And you have the potential to maybe change their, their whole attitude about physics. Most people seem to think physics is a little scary. And so um, you, you just have a, a chance to really inspire them to go find some personal connection to it and maybe, maybe study that for the long term. And it's fun to play with the toys.